Godot is by far my favorite game engine, but it's almost impossible to find any companies hiring Godot developers. Even the 14 search results you see here weren't Godot specific roles, they just happened to mention Godot in the description. So why is this? If Godot is such a beloved and capable engine, why aren't more companies using it? Let's dive in. That was slow. <laughs> The first reason I think Godot gets overlooked is a lack of adoption. Compared to more established engines like Unreal and Unity, Godot is still very new, and some might say unproven. A lot of companies are understandably resistant to new technology, especially when it's something major like an engine. An engine is the beating heart of your game, and once you've committed to one, it's extremely difficult to change your mind. Put simply, it's a risk, and it's one that few companies are willing to take. Unfortunately, this creates a bit of a vicious cycle. Not many companies using Godot, which means that companies see Godot as risky and therefore companies choose not to use it, which means that not many companies are using Godot. Tangled up in all of this is another problem which relates to hiring. Not many people have professional experience with Godot. Companies choose not to use Godot because of hiring concerns, so Godot developers don't get hired. Secondly, I think Godot gets dismissed due to a lack of maturity. We've already established that Godot is a relatively new engine, but does that mean that it lacks some of the features of more established engines? As much as I love Godot, unfortunately I have to say yes. While I believe Godot to be an incredible engine, it is still evolving, and it may lack some features that AAA developers have come to expect. Here are a few examples. It's worth noting that many of these are advanced features that would typically only be required for high budget games or those striving for realistic graphics. Also, some of these features exist already as third party plugins or are currently in development. The final concern that I want to raise is a lack of security. Here I'm talking not about the security of the end users, but the security of the developers themselves and their intellectual property. I was shocked to learn that Godot projects are trivially easy to reverse engineer. You can download a shipped game, run it through an external program, and it will spit out all the assets, source code, and project files for you to freely access, edit, and recompile as you see fit. This is extremely concerning for a number of reasons, not the least of which is property theft. Just watch this video about the game Diapers Please, which was stolen, repackaged and resold without permission, netting the thieves thousands of dollars. This issue has been discussed at length in the Godot community, with the response ranging from concern to nonchalance. Some people in the community seem to conflate security with DRM, which to many is a distasteful subject. As commenter Dale Zeev said, you can try some third party tools to protect your code, DRM. Creating such tools is a difficult and ethically controversial goal for an open source project. Others have tried to sweep the problem under the rug by saying, essentially, don't worry about it. As is responded on Reddit, presumably these people never lock their doors or windows when they go out. CG Casper summarized the issue well when they said, this is not about preventing modders or hackers from changing my game. This is about not giving away my original source code in unmodified form. This is about not having the feeling that I could have made my project open source to begin with. This is about the bare minimum of protection that I would expect and get from any other engine. I'll save the conversation about DRM for another time, but suffice to say, this is a complicated issue and unfortunately, there's no easy solution. I've talked about three possible reasons why companies aren't using Godot a lack of adoption, a lack of maturity, and a lack of security. Maybe you can think of others, but these are just what I've gathered from my own personal research. But how much do these reasons matter, really? Are these concerns justified? Essentially, this is a problem of risk, or perceived risk, versus reward. 
To someone who's never used Godot, it may seem like a risky choice. Learning an engine can be a very daunting and time-consuming process, but Godot has some of the best documentation that I've ever seen, and it's been meticulously designed from the ground up to be as simple and as intuitive as possible. I firmly believe that a talented developer can turn their hand to any tool. A strong knowledge of the fundamentals of programming is so much more valuable than knowledge of a particular engine. Of course, experience is valuable too, especially with an engine like Unreal, which is rife with pitfalls and esoteric problems that almost seem designed to trip up new developers. But I can almost guarantee that a talented developer could pick up Godot in a matter of days. And for many, I think they'd quickly become far more productive than they would be in a more complicated engine. As for the hiring concerns, it's true that not many people have professional Godot experience, but the engine is extremely popular with hobbyist developers many of whom will have excellent portfolios. And there are so few Godot jobs out there that employers will no doubt have their pick of the crop. I would also like to challenge the view that Godot is unproven by calling out some brilliant examples of games made in Godot. And for lots more examples, check out the channel Stay At Home Dev who regularly showcases new and upcoming games made in Godot. While Godot may lack some advanced features, the engine is evolving all the time, and it's completely open source, so companies are free to implement any missing features themselves. It might sound like a cop-out to say, go make it yourself, but that's exactly what any company with an in-house engine has to do already. And I've never worked on an Unreal project that didn't require engine changes. Plus, Godot has hundreds of free plugins available to fill some of the gaps in the core engine. As for the problem of security, this isn't unique to Godot. And while it's true that Godot projects are easier to reverse engineer than those made in other engines, there are third-party tools that can obfuscate your code, and mechanisms such as compile time encryption are available, which, while not foolproof, may be enough to deter amateur would-be thieves. Earlier, I said that the choice of engine is a question of risk versus reward. In some ways, any engine is a risk. From what I've seen, UE5 doesn't exactly have a great reputation for being stable and performant, and Unity famously sparked a mass exodus when they tried to introduce some controversial pricing strategies just two years ago. Sure, Godot may be a risk, but in my humble opinion, it's also a reward in itself. I'd like to close with some thoughts on the future of Godot. And I will. But if you're watching this and you're interested in learning to code, then you may also be interested in today's sponsor, Brilliant. Programming is all about solving problems, and Brilliant teaches you how to do this with thousands of visual interactive lessons, covering not just programming, but math, science, data analysis, and AI. Learning to code can be daunting, I know but these programming courses help you to develop your problem-solving skills and teach you the fundamentals of programming in a way that's fun and super accessible. You can also use Brilliant on your computer or your phone, which makes it super easy to build a powerful daily learning habit. Whether you're diving into a new topic or doing a quick practice session, you can level up at home or on the go. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for 30 days for free, visit brilliant.org slash dandoesdev, scan the QR code on screen, or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So, what does all this mean for the future of Godot? Are we just doomed to live in a world dominated by crusty, bloated engines like Unreal? Personally, I don't think so. Godot is becoming more and more popular all the time, and it's easy to see why. It's an extremely elegant, lightweight, and capable engine. And frankly, it's an absolute joy to use. Time and time again, we're seeing that simple games made by small, passionate teams are achieving enormous success. And I believe that Godot is the perfect fit for projects like these. And best of all, it's completely free to use. I sincerely hope that more and more companies start using Godot in the future, and I believe there will be a tipping point where lack of adoption ceases to be a concern. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. Thank you so much for watching my ramblings about Godot. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe for more. And if you're one of the many people who have sent me a project to review, then I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I haven't forgotten about you, but I've recently started a new series on my Minecraft channel, which is taking up quite a lot of my time. 
So if you like Minecraft, go check that out and I'll see you in the next one.